Okay, so I posted the message for those who join me. Four song. Caring conductor. So in this one, there is a magnet magnetic field here, this direction. If I place uh, some conductor in this direction, and if I place a conductor in this direction, There will be a difference in this both cases. And if I place a conductor in this direction, at angle. OK. Now, to understand this one, current flowing through this conductor, if we will take a small element, Small element dl current flowing through this is i. So i dl this is called current element. See, current element means a small current which is passing through this conductor. So elemental. Wherever we find dl or d theta or d whatever it is, either that is small elemental or a differential form. A differences like a theta 2 minus theta 1, whatever. That is d theta. So theta 2 minus theta 1. Either this way or small elemental. So you have to remember this, whenever we have dl or d theta or d something, that means small elemental or differences. Now force equals to df. So small force equals to i dl cross b. And when we have cross, we will have use sine. So B, I, D, L, sine, theta. That is your D, F. <clears throat> now here theta is between D, L and B. So let's go for this one, all this 
uh, if it is per perpendicular, if it is at angle, or if it has, it is at a parallel. So all these three we will see. So first you make a note of this formula. So if you want to remember, you can remember like this: f equals to b i l sine theta. First one. <clears throat> when they are placed parallel to it. So what will be theta here? And when they are placed anti parallel to it, so what will be theta here? I want to answer from you guys. Come on, parallel means what will be the angle? When you can say this is parallel, Akshit, can you hear me? Zero degree, one eighty degree is anti parallel. So, sine zero, sine one eighty, they both are zero degree. So, it will give you minimum value where force is zero, minimum value. Then, if it is perpendicular. Ninety degree, so theta is ninety degree. Sine ninety is what is sine ninety? F equals to B I D L. It will give you maximum value.
So here, done writing. Okay, so generally what we observe here, it's varying from 90 degree. Theta varies from 0 to 90 degree. If it is 0 degree, it will be minimum value. If it is 90 degree, it will give you maximum value. So force will be here outward. Minimum, there is no force here. So whenever it is a maximum value, then force will be out of the page. Here in this one, Force will be out of page. Or we can say direction of force out of the page. And this is at some random angle. So it will be into the page. Direction of force will be into the page. It's going into the page at some angle. This will be out of the page. This is no direction because force is zero. Is this clear? What am what happened today? Everybody is silent. What what happened? Tired, you all have exam. You all are hungry together. Aditi, can you hear me, right? Yes, sir, we can hear you. Yeah, Sohan can hear me. What about Akshit? Mr. Akshit, are you not there? See, I'm just speaking, speaking like I'm teaching to walls. I'm teaching to my wall, which is nearby me, white wall. Hey, Mr. White Wall. Yes, Madhushudan? Yes, sir. Yeah, you can hear me, right? Yes, sir. Oh my God! Today, random day you spoke. <laughs> good, good. Nice. What about Aditi? Why she so silent today? Even Akshit is also silent. You there or not there? Akshit? Not there. Okay. I'll teach two walls.
okay now this out of the paper and into the paper how to understand this one this is most important thing because you will get confused in this way let me draw Why it's not drawing? Okay. So this is your force. Let's take small force. This is ideal angle theta. This is P. This is B. So this is the this D L and B, they are like this. This is your screen. What you're seeing, there is a screen. One side is DL and one side is B. And the pen which you are holding at the corner perpendicular to that, there is a force. This is what this diagram represent. Sohan, are you able to understand? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah, and cough a little bit. Fever. No, sir. Oh. I'm light cough, that's it. <laughs> Perfect, okay. So I, D, L, and B. And this is your theta. Okay. So this is all the same thing. I, D, L, sin theta. So all <clears throat> these three are perpendicular. No, not these three perpendicular. Only force is perpendicular to this I, D, L, B. So I, D, L, and B may be perpendicular, may not be perpendicular. Depends upon this all these three cases. But force is perpendicular to all these three together. So, in short, we can say this two is the plane. These two are at the plane, two dimension. It can be this way, it can be this way, this way, whatever. This is B, 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 whatever. This is DL, I. And force will be always perpendicular to this whole plane. So we can use your Fleming's left hand rule or right hand palm rule. Now, right hand palm rule is similar to left hand rule. What is left hand? Thumb shows direction of force. Index finger, magnetic field, and my second finger is not good. Huh. Middle finger is direction of current. Oh my God. Was diagram. In this way, right hand palm rule means what? Your fingers. 
One, two, three, four, yeah. And thumb. This is your palm. So fingers shows very nice fingers. Shows direction of magnetic field. Palm shows direction of force. And index, uh, sorry, thumb shows direction of current. So either way, they both are same. If you apply this way or you apply this way, both give you both will give you the same thing. Okay. What else we can say here? So let's say some next that is between parallel plates. I too. <clears throat> okay, so this one is very, very easy. This statement is my after every uh, formula, but this also it's literally easy. Now, what we are doing here, there are two conductors, okay, we, from where current is passing through it. As you can see here, I1 and I2. Now, just listen here what I'm saying. Clearly, it's very easy. If you listen, that, that will be more than enough. Now, let's give a name something. Uh, what will you say? C1, D1, C2, D2. Whatever name. Or B1, B2, C, whatever. Now, there will be a force of attraction between them because both currents are flowing in the same direction. So, there will be an attractive force. If both current are, sorry, if current are flowing in opposite direction, in, in short, they are anti-parallel, there will be a repulsive force. If both current are in the same direction, it will be attractive. In opposite direction, it will be a repulsive force. Now, due to C1, D1, there will be a magnetic field which is attracting towards C2, D2. Same goes for D2, C2, C2, D2. Due, due to C1, D1, there will be a magnetic force on C1, D1. So if I draw and show you, it will be easier to understand. So due to C1, D1, so there will be a, some force of attraction around this one. Same goes for this. Okay, force here and one force here, magnetic field here. So due to this one, some magnetic force, due to this one, some magnetic force. Magnetic field here, so obviously current flowing here. So direction is this way. Current flowing in upward direction. See if I use thumb right and thumb rule, it goes this way.
so due same what i said here due to this some first one there will be attractive force on second one magnetic force of attraction and due to second one there will be magnetic force of attraction on first one so they both will have attractive see the see the direction here they both are in uh, act towards their others each other so here this these are infinite length okay so we we don't want to calculate for infinite length we will take for finite length so we will say force per unit length which was uh bil right this was bil now if i combine magnetic field formula mu not by 4 pi 2i by d square so that we can conclude here mu not by 4 pi 2 i is already there i1 i2 by c one more thing here this magnetic field is on i2 this magnetic field here is on current i2 but this magnetic field is due to the force on i1 the force is here i1 so b if i name it here b2 b2 i1 l it will be like this same here b1 i2 l sorry i1 l yeah so magnetic field is on opposite direction sorry opposite one due to this current element so one current is from b and one current is already there force force on this one one so i1 but it is on magnetic field 2 same goes here force on magnetic field 1 here b1 i2 l this is a force so if i combine both i'll get mu not by 4 pi 2 i1 i2 by d d is here distance between them we will not take r here we will take d both thing so this is force per unit length what is the next class timing we can do numerical or not let me check yes there is a class but still we can do one numerical at least okay this is not j question it's just normal question horizontal wire of length this is some ncert board exam question carrying a current of 2 amps 
placed in middle of a solenoid and angle to its axis. as turns per meter and carries a steady current i calculate i if force on the wire is vertically downward equal to 10 to power minus 4 newton Solve this formula is same F equals to BIL Is it zero point eight Armstrong? Sorry, zero point eight ampere. Yes, sir. What about us? Others also got same answer. Okay, if not, then I'll solve it here. It is 10 to the power 1, 2, 3. Four. Minus 4 equals to B equals to mu naught and I into i we have into l l is 1 
Yeah, and number of turn is thousand. So mu is four pi into ten to power minus seven. So I will get one, two, three. I for wire how much? Length unit length so five centimeter. So five into ten to power two. Ten to power minus two. And two ampere. This is two. So you this I you will get as ten to power minus four divided by four pi ten to power one two. And five to the ten. So one more. One, two, three, four. So four pi into ten to power minus five. So ten by four pi. What is the answer for this? Zero point eight, huh? Sohan? Yes, zero point eight. Yes, sir. Okay, let's take this as a zero point eight. Okay, guys. So then we can end this one here. Tomorrow we'll finish our. I'll give you homework. It's easy questions. Yeah, I'll I'll send you this question as a homework. Okay. Yeah. Then tomorrow we'll finish this chapter and start our some eleventh portion now. Okay. Bye, bye everyone. Thank you, sir. You.